kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon of the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you remember the parable of Jesus with his apostles walking along one day and they were walking ahead of him and he said to them what were you talking about as you went along and all of a sudden there was silence and uh, there was silence because he knew that they had been elbowing each other out of the way and talking about who was the greatest And so he gathered them together and he said, you know how the Gentiles, the great ones among them, make their authority felt over the others. Can't be that way with you, he said. Can't be that way with you. What has been your experience in life with people who've had authority over you? Have they lorded it over you? Or have they dealt gently with you? I would suggest that as we have been dealt with, oftentimes that's how we deal with others. And so we are given a good example in the first reading from Genesis in the life of Joseph, who was the youngest among his brothers and uh, who exercised authority over him by selling him. But according to God's divine providence, Pharaoh found favor with Joseph and put him in charge of all of his property. And so now that story, the brothers who sold him don't recognize him as they're coming to Egypt because they're starving. Uh, Joseph could have lorded it over them. But instead, he desires to reconcile. And we'll see more of that as the story goes on, as it continues. So in the Gospel, Jesus calls his disciples together and he gives them authority. Because at the end of the day, it's about two things. It's about 
power and authority. And so the proper definition uh, of power is the ability to affect change. And the proper definition of authority is the right to use power. All of us, at some time or other, in some way, shape, form, or manner, exercise power and authority. Somehow, sometime, somewhere, in some manner, some shape, some form. And so, how do we exercise that power and authority? Is it in the same manner that Jesus does? Through mercy? Through reconciliation? Or do we want our pound of flesh? <laughs> that side is there for all of us. That's really the battle, you know. How am I going to exercise this authority? Will it be in getting my pound of flesh? Or will it be in mercy, gentleness, reconciliation? That's the choice that we face each day. Regina Jenny, Qui aquem 